When you begin to live for God, find it not weird. Yes. When you begin to live for God, especially when you are going out there and telling people about God, whether it is through the internet, face to face, so on and so on, be ready. I want to say this right. Don't be surprised if you get your feelings hurt. And I am not saying to look forward to it, but don't be surprised if people hurt your feelings. So what am I trying to say? Be prepared for it. So whatever you have to do, either speak yourself up or say to yourself, hey, there is a chance that I may get hurt. So whatever this person says back to me, I don't care what they say pretty much. If they say anything mean, I am going to do what I intend to do. So speak yourself up. Don't get caught off guard. I know for myself, <laughs> many of the time I have my head in other things or I think about other things. So sometimes when people say certain things, I am shocked, like, really? <laughs> if only I could show you some of the comments that I receive like stuff that you would never think that a person would do or say you know shocking but i should not be shocked shocked because if you think about it demons can possess oppress and influence people so when you believe that it is a person speaking to you, it is really a demon operating within that person. So in saying that, anything is possible. Meaning, what a person says or do, expect the worst. I am not saying to be paranoid or anything like that, no but expect people to not accept the truth. So don't get caught off guard because if you do, you may get depressed, down, and feel like quitting. Let me say this, and I don't know if this is the case every single time, but the more persecution you receive when you are doing things for God in the right way, if you are doing things for God, teaching people, showing people the way in the right way, the more persecution you receive for that, you know that you are on track, on track. And you know that you are helping many people because the enemy is not going to mess with you not too much if you are not teaching the truth if you are not really helping people for instance a person may say that they have not been getting attacked as much back when they was in sin they were not getting attacked as much now that they live for God. Why is that? You are a threat to demons now. So when you are teaching people, whether in person or over the internet, if you get like all of these demonic people coming toward your way, you know that you are doing very good. But you have to keep your back strong. You can't give up. Because if you give up, the demons win. And 
No, I am not going to let a demon win over here. Not at all. So keep this in mind. The more resistance you receive when you are doing things the right way toward God, keyword, the right way, then you know that you are on track, which is a good thing. So keep on doing what you are doing. Never give up. Because you have really no idea of how many people you are really helping. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.